Hey everyone, Ben Taylor here and welcome to today's video. Now, if you subscribe to the channel already, you're probably going to know that I make videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And last week, there was no video on Thursday. I can only apologise. But I was on my stag do, so it's a pretty good reason, I reckon, to be missing out on a video. Anyway, if you're having a particularly bad day today, you're feeling a little bit low, then I want you to check this out. Yes, that is a picture of me dressed as a humpa lumper, and it was an incredibly embarrassing moment, but it was also good fun. My friends decided to get me dressed up as an humpa lumper, where I had to go and do activities, and there was plenty of people to see me dressed that way. So what are we doing in today's video anyway? Well today, I'm going to show you how to get some delicious skin tones in Photoshop. This is something that's actually really easy to do. And there's a little option inside of Photoshop that's quite secret and not many people know about it. So I'm going to show you how to find that and how to use it. So without any further ado, let's jump into today's tutorial and get started. Okay, so this is the picture that we're going to be working with today. It's a beautiful picture of this woman here. And really, there's nothing wrong with this picture at all. But what we're looking at doing today is just showing you how you can add skin tones into your images to really make your portrait stand out a little bit more. So how are we going to do this? Well, there's an option inside of Photoshop that not many people know about. It's kind of tucked away and a little bit secret. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna find this little option. And then when we've found it, I'm going to show you how to use it so that you can change the skin tone of your subjects. First step for me is to duplicate the layer to make sure that we're not working on the background layer. How do we do this? We press Control J. This is going to pop up this duplicate layer here above our background layer. Now that we've got that sorted, let's go ahead and find out what we're looking for. So if I come down here, and press, you can see I have a whole lot of adjustments I can choose from. The one that we want to use today is gradient map. So I'm gonna click on that there. Now you're gonna see on my screen that you'll be looking at now that the gradient has already been applied to the image. Now of course this is nothing like what we want. But if you look at this here, this shows the gradient map in the darker areas here you can see that the light has been added and in the lighter areas you can see that the dark has been added. This is how a gradient map works. If you're still confused let's show you another way. I'm going to double click on this and now I've double clicked on it it's brought up the gradient editor. This provides lots of presets which are already stored inside of Photoshop. So let's just go through a few of them. So this one here, you can see is red and green, and you can see that that's applied here. You've got your red in the darker areas, and you've got your green in the lighter areas. You've got this one here. In fact, you've got lots and lots of them. Now you might be looking at these gradient maps thinking, well, number one, they don't look like they're gonna particularly look great to kind of help with the skin tone and also they don't look very realistic or particularly good and that's because when you're using the gradient map tool you never really want to have it on a hundred percent opacity so let's show you what I mean if we look at this here you can see it doesn't look particularly real unless you're going for some kind of out there artistic effect so how do we go about changing it well if I click OK and then I come down to opacity here. Watch what happens when I bring the opacity down. You can now see I've really lessened the effect. I've brought it down to about 20%. Now if I click on the eye here, which is gonna hide the gradient, this is the before and this is the after. And what it's done is it's added this very subtle gradient into the image. So the way that gradient maps work and look good in your images 
is by lowering the opacity down of them. You never want them on full opacity at 100%. Okay, so we understand how the gradient map works. I'm going to delete that now, and then I'm going to come back down here again, because this is where we find the gradient map, click, and then choose gradient map. Now we're aiming to get a nice skin tone. Lucky for us, Photoshop has some photographic toning presets built in already. Where do we find them? Well, all we need to do is come onto this little cog here, click down, and then if we come down to the bottom, you'll see something called photographic toning. Now when you click that, it's going to come up with a box. It's going to say replace current gradients with the gradients from photographic toning. This is because I already have them saved in my presets. But if you press append, what's going to happen is Photoshop will add them to the presets you've already got. If you press OK, what will happen is it will replace it with the presets that you've already got. So for me, I'm going to press append. To find this, all we need to do now is click here and drag down. And you can see all of these have been added into my presets area. Now you might be thinking they don't particularly look like skin tones, but you're going to be surprised because look what happens if I choose this. You can suddenly see that it adds in a lovely effect into the image. You've got lots of them to choose from here. You can just go through all of these until you find one that you're particularly happy with. Now I think the one that I'm going to use for today's tutorial is probably this one here. So when you chose your preset or the skin tone that you want to apply, all you need to do is press OK. So something's not quite right here and you're probably thinking the same and that is that it's way too strong an effect. Now we know that we have to lower the opacity of a gradient map so that it looks realistic but also sometimes it can help to add a blend mode. In this case something like soft light would work perfectly. So I'm going to click soft light and this is going to blend in the gradient map into the image. Now of course the effect is still a bit too strong so what we want to do now is bring the opacity down until we find it at this nice natural place that it looks realistic. And I think at about 24% is about perfect. Let's have a quick look at the before and after. This is the before and this is the after. Now if you don't want this effect applied to the whole image and you just want this in your skin tone area, which I happen to do, all we need to do is hide the effect and paint it back in. So if you're not sure how to do that, I'll show you now. I'm going to press Ctrl I on my keyboard and this is going to hide the effect on the mask. Remember, black hides on your mask and white reveals. So now what I want to do is ensure that I have a brush tool here. Make sure I'm on white so I can reveal on my layer. And then all I'm going to do simply is paint over on the skin to reveal the effect. So all I'm doing now is painting this back in over the skin so that we have this nice skin tone from the gradient map applied only on the face. And to make sure that you've done it right, all you need to do is come down here to the eye, click it on and off to see where you've added it. And there you go. That's how you get a beautiful skin tone in Photoshop. So it's pretty easy, right? It was actually not difficult at all to change the skin tone in your subject in Photoshop. I mean, they make it really easy because they actually have the presets built in. So it's something that you don't have to create yourself. You can just go into Photoshop, into the gradient map, and then choose it from the preset section. Now, if you're really interested in learning about portrait or beauty retouching, then hopefully I've got some good news for you because I've actually created a couple of courses on this exact topic. 
it shows you how to do skin retouching and it also takes you from start to finish in the retouching process. If you're interested in that, I'll leave a link in the description area of YouTube so that you can grab a copy of the course for around about 70% off. Now, I hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial, guys, and I hope most of all you've found it valuable. And if you have enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up on YouTube to let me know I've done a good job. And if I don't see you before, make sure you come along on Thursday because I'll have another tutorial for you to enjoy. Now, whatever you do, guys, have an amazing day. I'll see you all again really soon.